This week's conference is one of our major community building events. We expect a cumulative 430 members, community leaders, administrators, philanthropists, and students to join us here to engage in the questions at the core of our mission. So there's growing support for our mission, and there's growing interest in our work. We see an academy eager to welcome professors and students and speakers who approach problems and questions from a range of different viewpoints, explicitly valuing the role such diversity plays in advancing the pursuit of knowledge, discovery, growth, and innovation. We're addressing some of the most important challenges facing any organization in the early 21st century. We have to find ways to live and work together across lines of difference. Rather than merely tolerating that someone sees the world differently than we do, we want to be curious, we want to lean into that, knowing that all of us are situated knowers, all knowledge is situated, and that only together by holding up these objects of inquiry, whatever they might be, and twisting them and turning them together, can we really understand the nuance of those things. We identify schools and people who are doing the right thing, we call attention to them, we recognize what they're doing, and we hope that that recognition will encourage others to do so as well. During the first three quarters of this fiscal year, we published 34 essays on our blog, attracted approximately 37,000 visitors to our website each month, produced 24 episodes of the Half Hour of Heterodoxy podcast, collected benchmark data from two national samples of students currently enrolled at four-year colleges, and we became host to the Gallup Night data about free expression on campus. We're also now having a lot more success talking to donors across the political spectrum. In fact, just in the last couple of months, we've gotten grants from the Ford Foundation and the Templeton Foundation. Thanks to the Templeton Grant. Next year, we will launch the HXA Distinguished Academy Initiative. We are changing the nature of discussion on campus, the terms that we use, even just the idea that intellectual diversity is an important kind of diversity. That's now much more common than it was. The program, which I hope you've had a chance to at least peruse, features a stellar lineup of speakers and panelists and moderators and workshop facilitators who will advance discourse, provide tools, offer solutions, and ask tough questions. We now have six awards to confer on six very, uh, very worthy uh, people because there's growing recognition that people who stand up for civility and open inquiry are heroes. The award for exceptional scholarship goes to Keith Whittington. Coleman Hughes is the Outstanding Student Award. The Leadership Award goes to Jonathan Zimmerman. Claremont McKenna College, our Institutional Excellence Award. Sam Abrams is the Courage Award. The Outstanding Student Group, LBCC Civil Discourse Club. The award winners we talked about today and celebrated today, I think are leading the way. And for that, I feel this incredible swell of gratitude, not only to be on this hard journey with you all, um, but, but just to be in, in conversation and to look for the possibilities. And I look out in this room, I look at the, the speakers on our, our program, and it, I see light, um, I see hope, and thank you.